It's time for school! School? It's a school day today. Why didn't you tell me? Right, all right, I'm getting up. Happy now? It's no good. I've forgotten how to get up for school. Henry, don't make me come up there. I still can't find my tie. Price to pay for not doing your holiday homework. There you are. You've got 30 seconds to have your breakfast and get out of the house. I still can't remember what I've done with my tie. It's here, Dad. Well spotted, Peter. Well spotted, Peter. Don't be horrid, Henry. Oh, fiddle dumb. I promised myself I wouldn't say that on the first day of term two. Promises, promises. Don't be hurry. What is it? What's the matter? <laughs> oh, it was nothing. Dad scared away a spider. Just a little one. Oh no! It was a really, really big one. It was this big. <gasps> You're so daring, Dad. It was nothing really, Peter. Now run along and have a good day at school. <laughs> That's impossible. Don't be... Off you go to, Henry. Uh, no buts. It's time for school. <sighs> same old, same old. Don't, Don't be... be... Greetings, Lord High Majesty. Greetings, Chief Lieutenant. Back to school. Yeah, back to school. Wanna talk about it? Nope. Just one question, Henry. What is it, Ralph? Why are you wearing your pyjamas to school? Oh, great. That's all I need. <laughs> well, will you look at that? <sighs> like... Yeah, look, Margaret. What a slug snot beetle brain! Just ignore her. Look, yeah, ignore her, Margaret. <sighs> Forgot to get dressed, did you, bird brain? No. No? So what do you call them, then? My pyjamas. Look, yeah, pyjamas, Margaret. It's okay. Taking places for the three-legged race, the three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I, um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up, it's about to start. On your mark! I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get sent! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ah! Ow! Ow! Oh, this is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! Ow! Stop that at once! Ow! See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you 
horrid child! If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong! You are here all day! The rest of you follow me! <laughs> oh, you'll pay for this, Henry! That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard boiled. <laughs> Ready, get set, go! And nobody moves until I find out who brought those eggs! I can't tell a lie, Miss Battleaxe. Well? It was Peter. It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry! <coughs> we could get a babysitter. No, we're going out as a family. <laughs> Henry! He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? You didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait! A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whoop whoopy burgers. I'm not going! That's that! All right, Henry, here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Two pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite. Um, where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! Oh, Ruby! <laughs> 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 New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Russ Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, worm! It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. Middle Ages and 
beyond. Boring. Modern times. Definitely not. Special exhibits. Aha! Dinosaurs! Hello? Anyone in there? <laughs> Uh-oh! Ow! Hey? Oh! Ow! Oh! <laughs> wow! Want your claw? Somewhere. There he is. Oh no! Gotcha. What? It's the naughty children's room for you. Oh, oh, there must be some mistake. Peter's been a perfect little angel all day. Mum, this is definitely the boy. We recognise his T-shirt. But I haven't done anything, Miss Lovey. No, don't worry, Peter. We'll get to the bottom of this. <laughs> That'll teach Peter to dress like me. We are coming to the culmination of our tour, a 1950s replica of this building when it was a town hall. Miss, I was wrong. This museum isn't boring at all. Oh, Henry, well done. And next time we'll go to the ice cream factory. Yes! Oh! Henry, you horrid boy. It's so easy. Money. Oh, 50p a week is quite enough, Henry. I'm very happy with my pocket money. I always save loads. You could learn a lot from Peter, Henry. Whoa! Whoa! Don't be horrid, Henry. That's enough, Henry. No pocket money for a week. What? No! I need a new castle! You'll have to save up then, won't you? But how can I save money if you're not Giving me any. You could earn it. <laughs> earn it? Oh, get off, Henry! Broken. Burst. A chess set? What were they thinking? I need more things! You look lonely. Come with Henry. Oh, smells like a baby's bum. Ooh, you got any food? No. How much have you made so far? 37p. You're wasting the smell. Hitting a sale, Henry. Nothing gets past you, does it, Al? Oh, Money raised goes to a very good cause. Child in need. Henry, that's Mum's spell. 
special perfume. Oh, she's got loads of bottles. She'll never miss one. That's ten pounds. Hmm. I'll give you one. Done. That's Dad's tennis racket. Oh, stop moaning or I'll sell you. Oranges. Buy my juicy oranges. Oh, give me five groats for this weedy peasant. He'll scrub floors, clean out your pigs and he only eats mud. You freak That's it. Would you like to earn some money, Peter? How? I could sell you as a servant and I'll give you 10p. Is that all? All right. 10p a day. That'd be 20p for the weekend. Mm, I suppose it would help my savings plan. All right, I'll do it. Great. Stand on the wall and look. Servanty. OK, who fancies their very own servant for the weekend? Yours for just 75p a day or a bargain at £1.50 for two days. What does he do? Anything you want. He's a servant. Yeah, all right. It'll be cool having someone doing just what I want. Why do I only get 20p if Ralph gave you £1.50? The uh, expenses. Now run along with your new owner. Amazing! After I've paid Peter, I'll have £2.67. I'm on to something here. It's so easy being me. I'm hard This is so, so, so not fair. I'm the only person I know who hasn't lost a stupid tooth. Everyone else has. Everyone. Moody Margaret, rude Ralph, gorgeous Corinda, aerobic Al, weepy William, singing Soraya, and even Fluffy the cat. <gasps> and now Peter's lost a tooth. It's so embarrassing. Henry, do you want another look at my tooth? Not particularly. Do you think I might get 50p from the tooth fairy? I can help you get more money if you want. Uh, no, thank you. But you can take a photo of my tooth. Then I can do a copy for Mum and a copy for Dad and a copy for all my friends. Stop that. Don't be horrid, Henry. It won't hurt you to take his picture. Then I'm going to put my tooth in an envelope for the tooth fairy. Oh, I wasn't ready. Tough. I have got to lose a tooth. Come on, teeth. Move. Wobble. Stupid teeth won't budge. It's like they're super glued to my gums. Everyone knows the more sweets you eat, the quicker your teeth rot. <laughs> Henry. No, because it always gets stuck in my teeth. So I reckon a tooth could get stuck in it. Ah, oh, clever. Well, is it working? I can't open my mouth. Help me! What? Oh, help you. Of course. Ah. Aha! Bert, I won't lie to you. That's my toffee. I threw it at you, and I deserve a punch in the mouth. Don't I? I don't know. Well, think about it. Don't you think chucking confectionery at you shows a certain lack of respect? I don't know. Take my word for it, it does. And if you were to punch me in the mouth and knock my tooth out, I wouldn't even mind, I swear. I don't know. <gasps> ah! Did that 
work. No brilliant save, though. One tooth! That's all I need! It's so easy being me. I'm I had no choice. I had to change the password, otherwise who knows what might have happened. Oh yeah, and what might have happened? All sorts of people, unauthorised people, might have got into the purple hand gang fort. Really? Yes, really! Dark forces are at work, Henry. <laughs> As chief secretary of the purple hand gang, it is my job to make sure that security is not breached. <laughs> Look, Henry, I know I'm not always as good as I can be, but I try to give off my best and... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Just don't make it difficult for everyone else, OK? Because then I'll have to reconsider my decision to make you Chief Secretary. Deal? Deal. Shake on it. I still have standards. <laughs> Peter? Oh, not now, Mum. I'm on important Purple Hand Gang business. Well, that's nice. <laughs> ah, the sweet smell of spring. The sweet smell of treachery, if you like. Personified. It's supper time. Perfect. Is it supper time yet? I'm starving. <laughs> Something the matter, Princess Petal? No. Actually, yes, I need the mustard. Yes, Princess. Yes! Give me my pink box back! Why should I? Because if Henry finds out... You mean when Henry finds out? Because when Henry finds out... You won't be Chief Secretary of the Purple Hand Gang anymore! Correct! It's so easy. 